Hello and welcome to WatchMojo UK's Weekly Lowdown, a super serious UK news show about some things you care about and some things you probably don't. So, first off... <laughs> Yes, the Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury fight has finally arrived. America versus Britain. After cheap digs, countless social media rants and constant doubt about whether or not it was actually going to happen, Wilder and Fury will be going head to head at the Staples Centre in LA this Saturday night. Well, about 1am Sunday morning, at least for us here in the UK. No man on earth would ever beat me, Tyson. So, a lot has happened since Fury's last big fight. He's been stripped of his WBA, WBO and IBO heavyweight titles, he's openly talked about his battle with depression, and he's put loads of weight on, then lost it all again. 10 stone in fact. And going into this heavyweight title fight, both Wilder and Fury are unbeaten for 67 professional fights between them, so it's a real unstoppable force and immovable object kind of clash. And you know what, even if you're not into boxing, go and give it a watch anyway, because it is one for the history books. Your local will probably have it on. So, I'm a celeb. Have you been watching it? I have, and you know what, haven't they really turned it up a notch this year with the Bush Tucker trials? I mean, what's this all about? It looks like something from Saw, or a weird BDSM fantasy. Should probably edit that out. And although everyone has been getting on with each other for the most part, some tension has started to build, especially between John Barrowman and a few of the others. There was the rice and beans debacle, then the whole bikini laundry thing. I'm just waiting for him to snap. I can see the headlines now. Barrowman goes postal in the jungle. Here's Johnny. There has been other drama and controversy though, like when Anne drank this fish eye juice. Social media exploded, claiming that she was actually drinking coke. Then there was MC Hazza, an emotional talk about stereotypes and disappointing scampy fries. And yet, Deck is still being Deck. So who do you reckon's gonna win? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> now we actually have a top 10 best Christmas ads of 2018 video coming out soon. I just wanted to put it to you guys and just, yeah, just see what you thought, see what your favorite ads were at the minute. Are you the type of person who loves a heartwarming John Lewis ad and you and your friends all watch it together and talk about how it was clearly made with you in mind? Or do you prefer something like the Waitrose ad, which blatantly takes the piss out of the John Lewis ad? Or maybe you're a fan of Kevin the Carrot? Well, we've got a poll on the go at the minute, so make sure you get your vote in. Now, we just wanted to take a minute to pay tribute to the brilliant British director Nicholas Rogue, who sadly passed away this week, aged 90. He's the guy you got to thank for films like Don't Look Now, Performance, even the 1990 film The Witches. So, thanks for everything you gave cinema. We're just about to prove him right. Now, we don't know about you, but it feels like, as of late, Doctor Who has hit a pretty good run of episodes, with the latest entry, The Witchfinders, piling in loads of great material. A compelling story, weird, creepy mud zombies, a superb performance from guest star Alan Cumming, a memorable transformation from Lady Savage, and they even managed to finally acknowledge the whole female Doctor thing, but properly, and actually make it relevant to the plot, with her being tried as a witch because she's a woman. And The Witchfinders just felt a bit more coherent, more like a return to the old tried and tested monster defeating formula. It was also written by guest writer Joy Wilkinson, not Chibnall. But let us know what you thought about it in the comments. Aside to the latest episode, Who fans have been going nuts over the teaser image for the New Year's Day special episode, which sees Whittaker sporting a Tom Baker-esque multicoloured scarf. People were also chuffed to hear and see, thanks to this image, that all three companions will be making it to the New Year's special episode alive. It's still a mystery, laced in rumour, however, as to how long Chibnall and Whittaker are going to last in the Hooniverse. In other news, Will Smith's latest attempt to stay relevant has him kidnapping Lewis Hamilton. Coldplay released music under a new name. That was clever. And have you ever noticed that Piers Morgan looks just like the pigeon lady from Home Alone? See you next week. Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.